So yet another football season comes to an exciting conclusion. We all know that uh, Arsenal are now the Premier League champions, but will Liverpool finish second and thereby guarantee themselves automatic entry to the riches of the Champions League? We will find out in the next 90 minutes. Steve Dunn is your referee today. And straight away the ball was transferred uh, through the middle, but Mark Venus was there. Kupier, shepherding the ball back to Jerzy Dudek, the Polish goalkeeper. And George Burley, it's amazing to think uh, he was named by many as manager of the year last season. getting forward a lot, he's almost playing in a centre-forward position at the moment, he's Danny Murphy. This is good play down the line, Carragher flicks it in, for Murphy is there. He got a wrap on the shin, but uh, commendably didn't go down there, Murphy. Harmon will square it, Xavier will continue the move with the ball through here. Richard scores for Liverpool! goal! And it's a killer blow to Ipswich Town's hopes, and looking round, you see their heads sagging, See their shoulders sagging, but Liverpool's John Arnaurisa has helped the home team believe that they will finish second place in the Premier League. Xavier there popping it through the little dummy, and then Risa hammers it in wide of Marshall. Oh, in with the dummy and potted it in superbly with his favoured left boot. And John Arnaurisa is ending the season as he started it. This is good play from him, switch the cross, not bad, headed out by Anshel. And that sparks another Liverpool potential raid, but a poor ball from Risa. Miller managed Miller managed to elude the opponent there. Stephen Gerrard has gone straight to the dressing room with the club's doctor. Minor concern, I would think, for Sven Joran Eriksson. He's always had uh, problems, uh, Stephen Gerrard. Back problems. Let's see what happens here. Heridison, he's good. He's cantering forward, finding Royser. Royser getting the bird from the Liverpool fans ever since his protest and appeal for a penalty. And well played by Smitzer. Capitalised on a slip there. And he's got a long way here, Smitzer. He's not going to go all the way. has dispatched the second Liverpool goal. Terrific play by the substitute Smitzer, though. He was flattened edge of the area. The referee allowed play to continue, and with a swish of the left boot, Risa crashes the ball past goalkeeper Marshall. Which attack with Royce, oh, and he slips Xavier. Oh, the upright, that sums up Ipswich's season. Martin Royce turned Abel Xavier inside out there and crashed it in against the right hand upright. There was no way in the world that Dudek would have saved this one. And Martin Royce sums up Ipswich's season. as George Burley can testify. Going through his young mind right now. 
there was just no danger whatsoever here, although the presence of Owen at your shoulder, it was a double whammy, really. He missed kicks, and then he managed to nudge it into the direction of Britain's most lethal predator. And Michael Owen has his 27th goal of the season, and as he got two at Portman Road earlier, so he's got one at Anfield against the same opposition, and you simply can't give gifts like that away to someone called Michael Owen. This time they do keep them at bay before Murphy knocks it into the path of Schmitzer. On he goes, oh, he's still here, Vladimir Schmitzer for number four for Liverpool. It's which you're all at sea, they're all over the place. Goals galore again for Liverpool, it's ten they've struck into the Ipswich net this season. And a moment ago I said, who scores the next one for Liverpool? Well, here is your answer. He should never have got through from there. Two little ricochets, bodies all over the place, ball in the net. He just sort of kept on ploughing through them. Horidison, Venus, past the keeper, into the net, unguarded, and it's 4-0 Liverpool. And Vladimir Smitsa strikes another blow to the heart of Ipswich Town. As Heskey powers forward, it'll break for Owen. He's onside, he's in the area. So are Heskey and Smitsell! Oh, belted over by Heskey. He thumped that, there was dynamite in his right boot. But the only person who felt the sting of it was in uh, about the tenth row back in the cop. Owen uh, given onside here, set it all up, and Heskey call calling for it, hammered it high. Well, they might get one even now. It's Marcus Stewart this time. Oh, no. Well, you really do feel for him, Switch. Liverpool are still complaining with the referee's assistant on the far side. But Marcus Stewart, who couldn't miss the target last season and who scored the winner here at Anfield, has failed, given another golden opportunity to beat Dudek. Credit the keeper with getting his right hand to the ball. It's a corner, but it should have been a goal. Stewart through on his own. He would have scored with his eyes closed last season. Another Ipswich corner, flicked right across in there, cleared at full stretch by Carragher. Hammond down the line for Murphy, Murphy's on to Risa, Risa onside, he's on a hat-trick, remember, can he claim it? Has to get it on the left boot, he never fancies the right. And Elka, well, he had all the time any striker in the world could ask for to put the ball into the net. He had Smitzer on his right, he didn't need him. And Marshall picks the ball out of the Ipswich net for the fifth time. And that is some emphatic way to go down, and it's some emphatic way for Liverpool to complete their season. The season finishes, and joy for Liverpool and sadness for George Burley, consoled there by Gerard Houllier. Ipswich Town, their flirtation with the Premier League is over. They've been there for two seasons, Michael Owen was among the goals, which is good news for Sven Joran Eriksson. Gary McAllister has made his final bow in a Liverpool shirt. And from the moment I'm Liverpool struck their the first pitch, goal on 13 minutes, there was only game. ever going to be one result today. And the points have gone to Liverpool, who clinched second place in the FA Barclaycard Premiership behind Arsenal. 
with a convincing 5-0 resounding scoreline against relegated Ipswich Town.